ABC's Alias, which stars Jennifer Garner, following the workings of the CIA as it tries to stay one step ahead of the forces of evil. The show's season finale airs this Sunday. We have Greg Grunberg, who plays CIA agent Eric Weiss, and David Anders, who works with The Bad Guys, The Covenant, and plays Sark, joining us from Los Angeles. Uh, gentlemen, are you guys allowed to sit this close together? <laughs> the good, the bad, Kevin Weissman being the ugly couldn't make it today. You know, I have to tell you up front, um, my wife is a very devoted watcher of the show. I asked her why. She says, well, you know, you, if you suspend reality, it's very well written. You just kind of go with the plot twists and turns. You know, you'll eventually get it. I mean, do you guys, when you're making this, feel that, you know, this is just, you know, too fast paced or we're cramming in too many twists here? You know, I think our show is right on the line. I mean, it could be a parody of itself at times. Uh, it really could be. It's just crazy. The stories, you know, they, they, they get bigger and bigger. But J.J. Abrams and the writing staff, I mean, to me, the show keeps putting, you know, the stories and the actors into these corners that you don't think they can ever get out of. And then somehow they come up with stuff that's just amazing to watch and exciting. So, um, no, I, I, think, I think we can only get bigger. And the stories, you know, you just go with it now that, now that we've yeah. delved into the sci-fi. Yeah. I can't give enough credit to the uh, the writers on our show. Um, as you said, every week you think uh, reading the scripts, we can't wait to read what happens next. Uh, and uh, they continue to uh, surprise us as well as hopefully surprise the, the audience. And, and Greg, how about yourself? I mean, you ever look over at kind of the, uh, you know, the story plots for the bad guys and think, you know what, it would it'd be kind of fun to be over on that side of things. Absolutely. I mean, you know, <laughs> the surprises that Weiss brings is like, is he on the Atkins diet? Is he not on the Atkins <laughs> diet? Like, that's, that's as far as, as it's gone for me. They've given me a lot more uh, action stuff, which I love. But, yeah, I would love to get my hands dirty in there and get... I'd love to kick this guy's ass, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> that would be great. But I'm happy, being, I'm happy being, like, the best friend and the confidant to all the characters, too. Okay, yeah, the show, as, uh, as we understand it, is not coming back in September, the kind of traditional launch, but it will start kind of mid-season in January, and we're told that's uh, basically done so there will be no repeats. So for the it's devoted watchers out there, they can kind of tune in on a straight line, essentially, without having to, you know, miss a week, uh, essentially. Is that, how, how do you guys feel about that? Uh, I think a little mixed. Um, it was a surprise to us. We, we just found out like two days ago um, at the Upfront in New York. Um, but... I think what needs to happen in in order for us to uh, get a spike in our in our ratings outside of our uh, our, our vast cult following uh, is something like this. Um, they did it with uh, NYPD Blue. ABC did this uh, a few years back, and uh, they saw an immediate rise in the ratings. And um, I think that that may be just the thing: is is get people missing Alias, and then. Uh, I'm just sick of the hate email and the calls and the relatives <laughs> calling me. Is it on this week? Is it not on this week? I think it's going to be fantastic. I mean, starting yeah. in January, there will be only original episodes every single week. No one's going to have to worry whether it's on, whether it's not on. You know, sorry, TiVo, but, you know, it's going to be an yeah. automatic thing. Yeah. And everyone's going to know. So our show is, is like that. If you miss a week, it, it can kind of throw you. Um, you know, the, the uh, mandate for next year, as it was for the first year, the second year, and the third year, was to make it standalone episodes and not so serialized. But the stories are just so exciting, and they carry through, and the characters that they've created are so deep. I don't think you can wrap them up in one episode, so it's going to be a good thing. You know, these arcs are going to play out the way they should play out. People are not going to forget what's going on if they miss an episode, because every week's going to be an original. And, I, you know, it's worked, like, like David said, with NYPD Blue, Crossing Jordan. 24 is doing the same. 24 got picked up for mid-seasons yeah. just for that very same reason because it's, you know, it's, uh, it's every hour of this 24, and if you miss one, you know, you're lost. Yeah, David, you mentioned uh, something a second ago, you know, our, our cult following. I mean, you have an incredibly devoted fan base. You know, obviously what goes into programming decisions at the network level is a whole other school of thought, but, I mean, do you ever get a sense that, you know what, if we could just kind of shift the time here, you're up against the Sopranos traditionally, which has obviously got an incredibly yeah. amazing following as well, but you guys seem to bring people back as, as well. Do you ever get the sense that, you know what, if they just moved us half an hour, hour, it would make a difference? I, I, I've always uh, thought that that's exactly what needs to happen, if a change in time, a change in night. Um, if it's not The Sopranos, it's, it's Six Feet Under, another one of the greatest shows on, on television. And uh, mm -hmm. it, 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 something needs to happen. And I think uh, this January start time, this January premiere, is, might, might be just, just what we need. I hope that they just put Jessica Simpson on for a half hour right before <laughs> us. 
that's there you gotta go. be the best thing ever. Come on. <laughs> well, guys, uh, the finale just a couple of days away without the kind of generic, well, you got to watch this, that, and the other thing. Any specifics? What can we expect here? We, what, what surprises? I think, well, Vaughn gets pushed to his boiling point and he gets revenge in a way that people are going to love to see. The people have been waiting for, I think, from Vaughn for him to uh, kind of own it, you know? Absolutely. Really own yeah, up to, to kind of sack up. And um, I must say that uh, uh, Jennifer, Jennifer's character, Sydney, absolutely goes crazy. <laughs> I mean, in a way that no one is going to expect, yeah. and you're going to be shocked until you know there's, there are things that are that explain her behavior, but her behavior, <laughs> uh, things that explain her behavior. But it's it's really exciting. I mean, the uh, the CIA just gets demolished. It's great. It's a it's a great episode and a great cliffhanger. All right, guys, we appreciate you taking the time, and good luck with everything.